We're streaming stories, the path of destiny. You little racist. It kid. looks kind of like a furry game. I think I was tricked. <laughs> um, the characters are anthropomorphized animals. They're not furry, from what I remember. Like for, by the way, when I say furry, I mean like sexualized anthrop anthropomorphized animals. Let's see, got that, got that chat, get Rumble chat. I'll even grab Twitch chat for the benefit of the kib. Stories about The book opened. It's like, wow, story. Path of Destiny? Maybe. The gamepad doesn't actually work. That's kind of weird. Okay, that is weird. No Dennis stream. All right. Uh, which? Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. But then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. Wow. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion dumb and renardo <laughs> had promised his mother he'd protect him uh, testicular? Testicular? aristocratic the truth will do donate 27 traffic didn't just say chapish pure from call sorry palicard renardo told the kid look if we give them the book they'll leave you alone my mother died for this book i promised her i'd protect you oh damn it the kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renardo had to run after him. So Renardo had to run after him, Chan. You need to beat him to death. Beat the dumb child to death. By the way, Polly, let the me know when you're leaving. Were staring It'll at wrap the up the stream like when you leave. Their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brain. <laughs> hey, Renardo said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. I killed Burb. Enemy is about to attack. Press X to counter. What, press it down? Yeah, this is the Arkham comment to it. I'm pretty good at game. Like, what? Is there all bad at game? He's like, I can, I can video game. Like, video game. The kid. Hold the grab. For a raven, they can't really fly, can they? No, they can't. Oh, right. The Gate of Heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or... I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere, and neither are you. Oh, character's Try dumb. Stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He 
was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was yeah, Renato guts. going to get a hero sword? You just tell him what he wants to hear. Poor and a character has low intellect, Chad. Essence? Perfect. Just lie to him. It's that easy. A hero sword. Q E D. We're now a hero, Chatfish. What well, comes to what romance. he got was settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook, and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know who'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. <laughs> she'd made him promise <laughs> to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. You wise-ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Cute, said Renato. Ah, oh, ravens. Bird people. I use him as a shield, give him a cruel bastard. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge. Won't even call you a sly down. fox. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. How he done it? Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Oh yes. Yeah, uh which, which one was it? It was Pal. It was pa yes. Pal who finished Grandpa Phil, I think. You have Grandpa you Phil fish. completely forgot, like the yeah. Catafree's time when attacking. <laughs> the more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. Well, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid Regrettable ran jetfish. And a goggler nailed him with its ivy. Did he die? I was paying attention. I was moving windows. I think he's okay. I think he ran away. I was looking at my DMs for a moment. It's like, book, damn it. Burn. Oh, he's dead. Next to oh. it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and nice. told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Now. <laughs> really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renato picked up the book. <laughs> we couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe and we he answered a hero's call to journey. We just had to wait for somebody else to die. <laughs> All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? <laughs> Cored the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island. Why is the empire burning its own cities? Ships. Like what? The fleet was doing. It's not much of an job. empire if you do that. <laughs> burning out the rebellion, Kibbord. The entire because they're evil. The rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renato could bring a game changer. Maybe. He could. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Skyripper. 
the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lupino or the Sky Ripper. Oh. Polly gets the first Again, choice you... because Polly funded the series or helped fund the series, right? Let me all... add him. Polly, Polly, you get Polly. a you get to decide. Pa pa pa, pillowy. I'm on side. So Polly, you can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time, and Renato needed a game changer, even though Lapino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer he could come up with some harebrained schemes maybe our scheme was worth it build the sky ripper i think polly died if polly died we'll uh lapino he, he says save rapino ah lapino apparently the mad rabbit had sold a pegasus that he did not exactly own Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time, but he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Winged horse. Brandish does five dollars. Wait, don't read that yet. Let me pause. You know, as soon as the... Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Right this exchange, five dollars. Kips, I just wanted to say thank you for being a clencher from my depression due to my mother's condition. Hey, Kips, I hope your mother gets better. Yeah, I hope your mother recovers. And remember, you are going to make it do it no matter what, little Brian H. Keep your chin up and hang in there, buddy. But uh, I really appreciate the donation. Very generous. Helps keep us alive, too. We need each other, little Brian. <laughs> we cling to each other. He's like, that's kind of gay. That is kind of gay. Uh, stream is delayed. Polly needs time to react. Good. Arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait. Where was the prison? The village was empty. Had had everybody fled the ravens? Need essences. Oh, I do have an essence. Oh, looks badass. Larry gems. Very colorful game. Yep, cell shaded. The character this model is would be the perfect place for a tic tac toe board. All burbs. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks passed. Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the Raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. <gasps> Renardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. None of the barrels have yet to yield anything. Ah, uh, no skill points. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate, Brian. Ooh. Yeah. You know, just spend time, you know, it's all you can do. That's the traitors! 
You know this game does remind me of? What? Hyperlight Drifter. I never played it. Uh, it's more so like the shape of the enemies. Because the basic grunts, they have the exact same like upper, like big upper body, small little legs. Ravens were landing everywhere. It's a very good thug look, the you know? guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lapino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Top spies. Our right, now boxes have food and items in them. So it means we should probably leave those until we... Mm, they might have other things. Like ore. When I'd have wondered what he could make with all this ore and essence. Oh, right. Probably a sword. I have one essence, Wheelie. One. Not bad, little chat fishies. Not bad at all. It was starting to come back to him. Something you've never completely forgot. Like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. is linear. Segments run from one end to the next is poly. Little oh, polyfish. Rim. Will you say you have to follow a path to back. your destiny? Well, possibly a flea. Poly path of poly. Poly path of poly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you for the road, Rosa. Hope you had a good night. Good or road, morning. Rosa. Need to open up. Need to make sure Twitch is on the screen because I can't see it. Got uh -oh. rather well. We got Vulture, Vulture Ill, Exa Moon, and Kieran da Daly on the Twitch. So every day we get raided, but when we do, we drink the sickness. It gets a combustion. Bunny person. Dirty, dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was <laughs> practicing his shuffle. Devil soldier landed Renato right on Rooks. It was Lapino's <laughs> favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter. That would be Saucy. Worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Well, I'd say we'll give Polly. One more decision. After all, he did fund the series. I'll last much longer, Chief. She's gonna go out to the old farm. Anyway, we're back. Also, don't forget to remind Twitch people and Rumble people that we're coming back. Not just YouTube. Oh, yeah, I'm telling them all right, to What did Polly right choose? Polly, what did you choose? Um, Polly! Perhaps we should simply kidnap the general. I'm sure it'll go well. Is that Polly said? Yep. 
Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. Of course. And you're still <laughs> mad for her. The He's Renato actually the childhood him. friend. Been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans. Chuckled the master spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right. Said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. My God, Jetfish. They meant that metal wise because it cha literally control. changes the game. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. And down we go, a little chat fish. I really like the game so far, Tibbs. It's alright. He's, so funny he, he's just started it. Yeah, it's been early. Do, they, do we understand now why I drew the big titty uh, pro wife in the thumbnail? Can we just agree to yeah. disagree? Maybe be inside. No? We're going to for that. <laughs> Green Branch has been a member for 26 months. Hey, Kibbs, Squealy, and my fellow Chefish. Hope everyone is having a good Friday. Can't stay, though. Got to get to work. Bye for now. Have a good one, Green Branch. See you later, Green Branch. See you later. Did you? You did. He's already a pretender, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Who's doing his receipts, which we feel like, oh, we give him the ranks. Long method is twenty-five dollars. Kibs, which class should I start crafting gear for in FF14? I advise starting as lancer or marauder for melee, or arcanist if you want to go caster. My desire to there kill. Was the I went Lancer, oh. so if looks could kill. Like, do you want to be Tanky Boy Kibble? Do you want to be Casty Boy Kibble? I'm not sure. It's up to chat. They're gonna do no more for it. They are. It's a fight. Murder each other. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. Uh oh, go for Lupino's geese net, fire toad, watermelon plan. Well, or not the time for harebrained schemes. Go with the plan, says Polly. Well, we'll let Polly influence it because he did donate a lot of money after all for the series that nobody donated for. Thank you, Nation. Well, he was the only one who did donate. He got it in one go. Marvelous plan. A crafting bench. Renato wondered what he could make with it. What, does that level it up? Oh, X, yeah. It did level it up. Now it's a stronger blade. Ooh, hero sword. Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. Uh, there was a door back here. It was green of him, right? And our sword is now green. Damn. Never fucking mind. <laughs>
murdering little chickens. Holy chicken must die. Am I doing? Am I doing it towards Arcanus's falling battle plan? All right. With every oh. step. He's helping out. He to play the slave to play an arcanist. Against all odds, mm. Pino's idiotic oh. plan worked. Zenobia's Zenobia's 14. Ravens ran off oh. after the geese. The net dropped, and Renato the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two, said Lavino. But the fleet was coming on fast, so they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Ah, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped, with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'll head for the Imperial outpost, yelled Apino. You have to catch her. We should chase the pussy. It's the pussy. I wish they had got enough female voice actor, voice actors for the. You for sick the cats fuck. Can run faster. Oh yeah, cats sorry. Can run like, I'm, if you ran, just... he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. The narrator is fine, you big baby. Renato had always wanted a flying carpet. This was more like a flying tabletop. We're trusting the plan, Jeffish. Rust in the play. Yeah. I'm being reminded of the Last Jedi and the plan meme. Ugh. Come here. We have a plan. You gonna tell him about the plan? No. We have a plan. <laughs> Plan is rander of the sandcastles, but he was too. <laughs> Something bucket fishies would never understand. No, I'm gonna heat up. It's a fish brain skin. After all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Can't live with him. Can't live without him. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I think we can hook on that one. I ran a hook. Who needed okay. bridges anyway? Mechanics. Reggie, why? <laughs> Welcome. My dog destroyed her bed again. Why we should do such things, Bean? Where the Relux fire spell? Eh. My god, new baddies. Not just the basic ravens over and over and over again. No. Preposterous. I like fighting the same enemy. Over and over. <laughs> In fact, my game will only have one enemy. <laughs> Got it. No. That's right. I'll just dash across. Oh. There's literally the thing to hook on there. I don't know what's happening. I don't even know where I am. He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But after all, 
There were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. Yep, he lost his rabbit mule, uh, like, remember, Fett? The rabbit mule who was boning died in the beginning of the if game. If I craft a sword now, it's gonna be really short. It's gonna be really short. Teleports everyone. Hop around and stuff. Bill Shoes, Greg. You're not really Italian, but a French man from Corsica. I'm not either. The only French one I know is, uh, Yeno. Everyone else I know that speaks French is Canadian. Bernardo reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again. He said, please, I'm enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far there, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogator would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he now, just talk to her? The thing is, mm, once again, Zenobia was Renato's prisoner. But the interrogators would do to her. Oh no, the frogs. Disgusting. Plap, 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 plap. Yes, he would Oop. take Zenobia to the secret rebel base. Hmm, big. Thinkies. Give Chatfish the decision, and they'll probably go for a plat, plat, plat. All right, Chatfish. It's Polly's had his his freebies. I've given him many decisions. Now it's time. Skip the rebel base. The rebel base. Now, chat, if you vote for the bottom one, you're furry. <laughs> Bino's like immediately clap, 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 lizard. <laughs> Just because they want to see pussy getting frog and frog and frog and Chatfishies must decide quickly and hastily. Or we'll blow up and die. Now I'm gonna check Cream Labs because. I think it's all crazy Templar in chat. He likes to donate there and not say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, no. No, no, cream labs. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps Chatfish know too much. Perhaps Chatfish will be destroyed. Eep! Mm. Chatfish need only. It appears Chanfishies have decided. Let's see what they voted. It skips the rebel base at 52%. This is a rebel base for replaps. 47% of you are furries! Up! <laughs> 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 Abominations. All right, now, this is too cruel. Skip the base. Once again, Zenobia was Renardo's prison. The next step, the stop, would be the rebel base. But the things the interrogators would do to her, Renardo could skip the base and find a way to interrogate Zenobia himself. Hmm, it still sounds furry. Zenobia. 
the chat fishies are not prepared. As they pulled away from the Nexus, Bernardo could see the fear in Zenobia's eyes. I can't take it to those creatures at the base. He whispered to Lupino. Ah, you've gone soft. Soft in the head. We captured her for what she knows. I'll take her to the mountains. Tell all the horrible things the Emperor's done. Yeah, believe me. She'll turn. And he turned the wheel. The hell you will! Shouted Lupino, and he grabbed the wheel back from him. The two of them wrestled for control of the ship. It shot off like a mad sparrow. Suddenly, Renato was falling. And then he went splat. And his blood went plat fly up on the ground. When he came to, Zenobia was standing over him. Why didn't you take me to the base to be interrogated? She demanded. Do you know what's left of people they interrogate? This is some trick, isn't it? To make me fall for you again. Well, I won't. Oh, go on then. Scurry back to your ravens. I can't stop you. But strangely, she didn't. As Renato set off to find the Farfarer, she followed him, keeping just out of sight of the ravens. No gems yet. Chip fishies. Like oh. <laughs> oh, I can hold. It's so what else good. Could you hook? Come to Kid's channel and see him playing a good game. Of Fox on it. Finally. Pino's an abomination. <laughs> He was very easy to please. <laughs> He's a game has fucks. Pino's like, mm, peak. Peak game. Mm -hmm. It's the best game ever made. Uh, for example, there's a, that game, Ghost of Tsushima. The only good thing about the game is that you can pass fucks. In. You can hold right trigger when attacking to recover health. Uh, it is too busy comboing them to do it. Them to him. Back to him. He wondered what he'd remember next. We have memoriitis. Like, what? That's not even a D. <laughs> it's he a classical video fight. game disease. Uh, he lost all his fighting skills because canonically he spent too much, too much time uh, bowling the bunny mule in too little time fighting, so he got rusty. Hmm. Hero wall. Hero sword. Ice wall. Ice. Cube. I'm trying to put one and two together. I don't think I will. Give it a Good, the bad, and the grunt. This was definitely better than pulling yourself up in a bucket. We're doing it, Chatfish. We're making le progress. What's your problem, little dog? You don't shit, you little fucker, you little bastard. As Renato stopped shit, to shit, sniff the wind, yeah. Zenobia came up, still mad. Did you Wait, really think you'd just talk me into betraying my father? Oh yeah, sure, that was exactly my plan. Then why aren't you even talking to me? Because I've never talked you into anything in my life. They're gonna court-martial you for letting me go. He caught a whiff of the Farfarer. Wet rope. Tar, 
and a cask of Scoville ale he'd spilt last year. It was that way. Damn, Reynardo doesn't clean his house just like just like keeps just like you keeps for you for real. For real, for real. Don't be mad because yeah. you're you, fat little you fish. Are you seeing Renardo is literally Kib? Or literally me? Yeah, he's literally Kib. Like for real, for real. He doesn't clean his... For real, for real. Yeah, like he doesn't clean his house. Uh, he, he, he has a cat sink that's following him. You know? Renardo's like, paws were getting Everything numb. is coming together, you know? Calaveras really didn't want company, did he? My god, Jetfish. Our model took the other model. I wondered if he should have taken Zenobia to the rebel base for real. Now I see Zenobia. She yeah. wasn't playing him after all. Regular. After the bleak talk about the Emperor's dark secrets, he was regretting his suspicion. <laughs> but only maybe. No, Zoomerlingo. Sure Guys. enough, the Farfarer had crashed in some rocks. There was no sign of Lupino. Zenobia caught up. All that kid stuff in sword through school. Look, you know, look, that's the past. We, we, we're adults now. We, we have duties to other people. We have destinies. What are you talking about? And you are the most arrogant, slow-witted, Light-fingered, mercenary, immoral, reckless. Run away with me, said Renardo, and he realized he meant it. Oh, just like that, she demanded. I will, if you will. So she kissed him. And it was the best kiss he'd ever had. They held hands as they boarded the farfare. Renardo felt light-hearted, like the winds that were playing the rigging like a balalaika. But Lapino, I need to go back to Lapino, he said, suddenly realizing he could have been captured. A prisoner. He's not. How'd you know? He saw something in her eyes he didn't understand. He fell, didn't he? Into the abyss. She looked away. Wouldn't answer. But then a bolt smashed through the Farfarer's keel. The broken ship plummeted out of the clouds. Renato picked himself off the deck. They were alive. We have to get to my private ship, she said. Do you trust me? I guess I must, he said. You go on ahead. Clear the path, she said. I can't kill my own soldiers. He wanted to say that he didn't trust her, that he had no idea what he was getting into. But he had no choice, did he? He was following his heart. That's what it means to be a hero. You had to follow your heart. Hmm. I don't know if that necessarily... I feel like there's, like there's going to be a butt here soon. My heart's telling me to genocide everyone. I guess I'm a hero. <laughs> Haven't you always wanted to do that? I've increased my health, becoming spongier. Terms of wow, spongy. Jetfish. The bird.
Get it, Jeffishies. Now are ready to take on new powers. We're just on a little boat. A little sky boat. It's a lot of sky boats. A little empty, though. He's just a polyfish. Yeah. Uh, he has a vendetta against the birds. Oh, I never knew. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Don't be lying. Can you hear anything? How we do it? Yeah, we can't hear you now. Nada to himself. Oh, did you hear anything? No. I I wondered. I won't know. We didn't hear anything. I wondered why we were so uh, silent. Yeah, when oh no. Said e no brat food. They paused to catch their breath. It was strange to be so close to her. What are you thinking? He asked. I'm trying very hard not to think. Me too, he said. Up ahead, he could see the thin silver of Zenobia's personal ship. It looked fast. They would leave all this behind. She's gonna betray us, isn't she? Murder us the last like second. She's trying hard not to think, because she's gonna kill like it. Like I said, I feel like there's gonna be a butt here somewhere. Why are we going to the three teams the night? Not girl. Here it comes. Imagine getting a horse up in one of these things. He will be cursing a blue streak. You can look over health this I won't need Only that. kids cares. <laughs> Get it, little chat fish. Like, wham. You, oh, man. <laughs> I remember the no, Okay. <laughs> I would have been happy if there was a little secret there that was just out of camera. It no, be sad because because I, I remember that Renardo is literally cute. Literally kids. Thank you, Polly. As they reached her ship, Renato suddenly felt a sharp pain in his stomach. He was surprised to see a crossbow bolt sticking out of it. I was going to lead the Empire to a secret base, said Lapino. Lapino's a traitor! Oh, no. You had to screw up my plan because you still got a thing for her. Renato stared at Zenobia. A kiss. Was it? 
real, she said, with a look of indescribable sorrow. She gestured and said an arcane word, and Lapido went flying into the abyss, screaming, I'm telling your father! Then she knelt down to cradle his head, and her paws felt very soft and warm. Okay, that was weird. He could have sworn he'd just died. Instead, he was on the Farfarer, sailing away from Ubar. And it was still burning. We completed he completed the first story. Ubar years ago, hadn't he? No, and maybe. now he was back there. Had all those years fighting the Empire been nothing but a vision into the future? A useful vision, if it was true. He learned something. Lapino was a traitor. Renato had suspected there was something wrong with the mad rabbit. But now he knew there was malice behind his goofiness. Goofy little rabbit. My god. You need four proofs. Lapino, le traitor, le Nazi. I think that the plot twist was not the rabbit. He made bad choices. Or was the rabbit not a Now, the, the, when the real battle came, he wouldn't make those choices. He wouldn't make the same mistake twice. The book's pages began to flip backwards towards the beginning. And he realized that his adventure was just beginning. Don't trust Rook. The clouds Don't parted rookie. over the Isles of Boreas. <laughs> it was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renardo had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renardo really leave an old friend to the Ravens? He's a traitor! Could you do something? Could you redeem Lapino? I think we'll find the it. did choices. Oh, yeah, we'll let Chapfish just. Uh... All right, unearth the Sky Ripper, the God Slayer. Or Sandy Tempo. Uh, no, Barney, Barney Farney. Uh, the rabbit boy at the beginning is the son of the rabbit milf you were banging. That canonically dies at the beginning. That's the yeah, you only had three, two things available. You didn't, you didn't listen. Yeah, to yeah. <laughs> he rates the, We're yeah, doing he different the ones. Rabbit. Okay. We're gonna force the Jeffers a God Slayer. Uh, God Slayer uh, is a funny thing. <laughs> one, one thing that's funny, like, uh, you did you see that like, there was 20 something stories? A lot of them differ a lot from each other, like, that's a good thing. Good thing. Well, so we see now. Okay, so it took about. Let's see, hold on a second. It took about one hour to play through the game completely. Which means that. Each path is about an hour long. Uh, no. About. Approximation. Uh, Bino. Uh, it, it, I played this game. You don't need to... Uh, Bino! Also, you're not even answering the question. Need, you you Bino. don't need to... Hmm? Bino. The game's not that long, kid. Yeah, I know it's not. The The thing is, each path is about an hour. About, right? Approximation. Less or more. So yeah, that pretty. means that the whole purpose of the game is to play through multiple paths, multiple hours, then to get then the true the... story. Yeah. But uh, you don't need to play all of the paths to complete the game. I did. But to get the true ending, you mean? Beano. It's the a true Beano, Beano ending. Yeah, the true ending. this ghostly. Every child knew about the God Slayer. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This emperor, Sassinger the Third, had once been kind, but he'd gone it's mad. A frog you shouldn't throw and Now frogs. he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost gods. Had he somehow 
summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth it was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. As he set foot on the island, Renardo couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Did rabbits? Renardo felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Will chat stick with it? They have to stick with the Sky Ripper thing. Don't let the game bait you, chatfish. They're like, oh, he's distracted by shiny thing. But I'm, I'm feeling baited. And whoa. Maybe I want the Sky Whipper. This burning sword from the south was terrific for barbecuing sausages and ravens. Uh, depending on the paths you take during the, the missions, you unlock extra paths, extra things. That's, and the swords are basically like the keys that you get. You could call it a path of destiny. <laughs> hey, how do you tell if someone's far away? Or just really small. I mean, purple's or purple. The people purple. who had built this castle, did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands and thousands had died. But Renardo had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. That could come in handy, in a pinch. Increasing our movement speed, little Jeffish. speed. I shall give. Yeah. I can slay them all, Jeffish. No mercy. This is the bird taken. This is the bird taken meat from the kitchen. We need chicken meat. No. <laughs> no. Wait, we're not chickens. Chicken fish. Chicken fish. Buffalo chicken. Mm. Mm, buffalo chicken. Oh. 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 You can recover your health with the green sword when you hit people. What do you think of that? Stupid. And he's like, Just like this, Mike? Yeah. 51. 52. 51. Oh, my wrist. 
Plant, plant. Oh, can't do it no more. Ah, how did you get puzzled? No, we're not allowed to puzzles. No, he doesn't. He couldn't figure them out. He loved puzzles. On the other hand, if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from something good. Give you the puzzle. Well, the puzzle is. Too late. Too late. Make give do puzzle. Too late. I don't think he can. I don't think he can come back. So the pull's still going. Oh! Can I borrow that? Mm. I'm a god! I got him on god! Ooh. I couldn't even see a gamer god. Oh, you got a gem. Finally. Gym. Finally. Had been his mistake before. Trusting his old friend Lapino, who had been through so many battles with him and shed so many heartaches, who he'd rescued so many times. What was up with that guy anyway? He, he's like, you should probably have gone and saved Lapino and see what is wrong. <laughs> I actually remember telling us this now because we know he's a traitor. A traitor Pino. Who is Pino? What? Wait, 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 wait. Pino? Pino? Labino. Labino! <laughs> there it was. Sky Ripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. Like How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Get the pussy or get the, the jewel shed? <laughs> <laughs> I like how I post the question. <laughs> Jared's like, <"Urgh."> <laughs> <laughs> so trying to That's stay. Why, why are you voting for pussy? <laughs> Some I chat guess. fishies are struggling. Like, king, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, chat! <laughs> no. Focus, fish, focus! If, they, they're I losing remember, focus. Like, oh. if, if I remember correctly, like the stay focused part has some very funny shit. Chatfish are losing strength. They're having a hard time. Wayne. Work. <laughs> Better. <laughs> <laughs> Ze, uh, Zenobili, go see your cat girl girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, but you must fight. They must resist. They must hold true. They are weak. And stupid. For how long is the... For how long is the... Is the poll going to go with me? Just a minute. If chat want to contest, they have to say so quickly. Because Polly doesn't have a whole lot of time. Because I believe Polly goes to work in like an hour, right? Or so. Um, That's why we started these streams early. I right, chat. Had today off, didn't you? I don't know. That I think that's Kamigawa you mixed up there. Why don't you know? Chat, as you voted, they have decided to stay focused. They held true. Polly, do, Polly, do you have the the off? It was a no-brainer. 
Ouais. Il sacrificé son ami friend Lapino pour obtenir l'armature. Et l'armature était useless by itself. Okay, so this is the part where the game doesn't factor in the previous choice anymore. It only does it in the beginning. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Doubt sunk in before he was even out of sight of the Farfarer. Why had he chosen the Sky River? It was the sort of path he'd always avoided. The path of responsibility, of seriousness. Had he grown up? He didn't feel grown up. He'd made this decision from his gut, like he always did. Somehow, he'd impulsively decided to stop being impulsive. Did that make any sense? Did it, Jeff? Is it? No. Ah, you lost one, kids. Need to restart the whole game. He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. They really needed to construct additional pylons. Ha! Stuck our reverence. Something sour in the air, like the earth had ruptured. No, Polly's here for. Polly says he's here for the full playthrough. Ah. Nice. Let's go, Polly. Let's go. We were forcing Kip to play a good game, class. Not uh, no more of that hell divers. Yeah, it's just. Where did that go? We'll just keep killing him. Just keep killing, killing, killing. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where had they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. Attack enemies at any distance auto-activates when reaching a certain combo threshold. That could be very powerful to him, he's small. We will figure out your cradles, Jaffish. Whether you like it or not. A 60 hit combo. Bucket fishies. I thought I grabbed it. Did I? No, I didn't. No. Nothing. Get your blood pumping like a bit of killing. Get a bit of killing. The twenty sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark art and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah, that made him feel better. 
He carried his prize <laughs> back to the far fair. Fuck him. Now, he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Stay focused, Chatfish. Stay focused. Stay focused. But explosions. If Hell Divers is <laughs> good, why does there it have right. in the game? Yeah, <laughs> veggies. We don't know if the weapon works. As a brain, I was so just saying, it's funny. If it just blew up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you see why. Reynardo is literally kids for real, for real. I remember this. <laughs> Chippies must think. But it's sinking high. <sighs> 60 seconds until pole closes. 60 seconds. Chippy. Make this last slept rock cookie thing. Slept cookie. Speak of slept rock, I'm drawing him right now. You're drawing slept rock? Oh my god, Detroit. Yeah. Where's my fucking phone? Catfish? Jeffish, I'm gonna grab one. Jeffish, <laughs> like fatfish. Wait, I'm Jeffish. Fuck. <laughs> a regrettable revelation. But they are but simple bucket fishies. Who <clears throat> caught fish? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna post that in the Vickering Bunch discussions. Because Chatfish must see it. Yeah. Hold on. There. That's what the slap rock cookies look like, Chat. He sent me. It's a snack that smells bad. Goldfish. Mm. But not goldfish, it's like a little cookie. My little way, my little panky got in the way of the stream. My panky. They do smile. I thought that was kind of neat. Stay focused. Chatfish have managed to stay focused again. They're thinking about the super weapon. Well, of course. If you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes, the observatory would be his objective. Why had the parts of the Sky Ripper only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had dismantled it? The Mad Emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. Bernardo had learned so much, it was time to turn it into something he could use. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Usual of like you. Like, grab him. <laughs> Every day he was getting better and better. There we go, Chuck. 
legendary weapon was exactly what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the black harvest, the black sun? Nope, we got about the loot no. bits. He black sun, oh no. Toe, no matter what the risk. Oh my god, the black sun. Just eat the yeah. solar systems instantly. He doesn't understand. I'm He's simple, Reggie. Black Sun Kibbo. <laughs> Reggie brain small, but Kib knows. Kib no, Kib. Smart. Renato's power like you. clear. Sart. the scientists ensure the Sky Ripper was safe to use, bring it to the rebel base, and then assault the Imperial fleet for the win. We can make the. We can make it as well? The ice bomb? No. Okay. No. Stupid Beano. He's like, eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
<laughs> the, <laughs> them hot lady foxes, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> they, they are bleeding like from their, their eyes, you know, they're like trying to... <laughs> Trevor G has a few seconds. And Trevor have decided to stay focused yet again. Against all ones. But what if we did Well, he should have known he'd have to consult Calaveras again. The scientists oh. at the observatory were smart enough. But what did they know of the transcendent emperor? He hoped it wouldn't delay him too long. The rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure of the secret base. And some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him. And then he would win the final battle. The rebellion needs your help, Captain. But after a few <laughs> steps, Tornado's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. <laughs> might be lovers it wasn't after. All that much simpler. No. Physics made his brain hurt. That, at least he was sure of. Chefish, ticklefish. Oh. This level looks familiar, Chefish. That's because it is. Oh, 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 ow! Yeah, you. It's so probably most of the right here. It's most like a reusable. He tried to focus on the now. The ravens who seemed everywhere all the time. Where did they hatch from? Were there giant raven hatcheries somewhere or... Did they have families? Oof. He didn't want to think about raven mummies raising their darling raven chicks. Yeah, Calvera's right. He will make Renato feel better about using the Sky Ripper. And then Renato wouldn't have to worry about ravens ever again. No more ravens, Zephyrish. No more rush. For a moment, I wish that somebody had been watching. Progress of Champish. Well, chat, you don't fund at speech hours anymore. It doesn't happen. The Champish have lost. How much, uh, how many hours? We, can... we have 154 hours, but most of that's put in Nya and Star Wars funds. We have two hours of Nya. Get rid of those, what is it? It was a bard when he needed one. Catfish, ticklefish. It was a bit windy up here. It must be some daddy time. This is important. Let me see. <laughs> 
There's two hours of daddy. Okay, we can... If we, the three of us do it, then there's one, one hour, right? If we all do it, we'll, we'll, we, we kill what's ever left of it. Counting on Renato. He hoped Calaveras knew what he was doing. Easy. Renato wondered idly if people who had built these poles had really, really long tentacles. Renato wonders very, very things. What? Who is this? Yeah, man. Calaveras had never let him down. Yeah, of, of course I can make it work better. But when yeah, Renato yeah. explained about the strings, Calaveras grew thoughtful. Oh, well, strings, you say? Well, the Arcana do speak of the ties that bind the world. He drew many intricate symbols in the dirt. Yeah, so, um, according to my calculations, uh, each time you fire, I'm afraid there's a 1 in 120 chance you'll destroy the universe. That's pretty good odds. That's like rolling, what, 21 dice and they all come up six. What are the odds of that? What? No! It's more like 2.716s in a row. Anyway, with those odds, it won't happen if I use it just once. Yeah, no, no, that's... No, no, that, that, that's not right. Each time you use it... Okay. Look, just don't use it ever. All right, I guess. As he sailed away from the mountains, <laughs> Bernardo could see clouds darkening. He doesn't know math. Rain? No. Ships. Just like this. Imperial ships swarming thick as bees. This was it. The big battle. They could not afford to lose this one. What if it did not go well? What if he had to use the Sky River? Could he gamble the universe? On the other hand, what were the odds of rolling 21 sixes in a row? Why not? Why not? Why much? Also, David Rodin is one dollar. How much for one hour of past tense? Well. Uh, we're we're not going to do those. Been thinking. They'd been uh, no, thinking those, those, were, those were moved to something else because uh, well, the, you know, the reality is when we do past tense, Chapish tend somehow. to leave the stream. <laughs> or turn her. Mm -hmm. It's too Could difficult to speak that way. Just once. After all, if chances were one in one hundred and twenty-eight, that meant he'd for sure be okay the first time. Get worse and honestly, hundred dollars is not worth it. The for first time would be that. okay, right? He wasn't sure that it was right, so he didn't fire the Sky Ripper. He just brought it along in case. Did you see his logic for why it's okay to use the ones? Because if if he the chance of, of destroying the yeah, universe is what in a hundred and fifty, every time he uses it. Well, no, the reality of chance is that it, I know, it's I the know, same but time every time. No, I know, but that's the thing, he doesn't know that. <laughs> that's, that's why I said he's just like me. It's also in second part. We're back here. Yep, he has a fair counter. He uses common Good thing part. Renato didn't have vertigo. He was here, he's never smart though. Use the Sky Reaper! Use the Sky Reaper! Shit, fuck. Sky Reaper! You'll be the new aerobics craze. Am I right? You need purple sword. Purple sword. 
Little champfish floating in space. You read? Oh yeah. Hey Boulder. You read it. David the Red, you know better. That's a stupid question. We banned that months ago. <laughs> you think I watched yeah, we stream? Not very yes, you should be watching fucking fish behavior. Oh! Not going spectacularly well, thought Renardo. Someone had told him the odds didn't change just because you'd had a streak of good luck. His gut told him that was wrong, though. And he always listened to his gut. On the other hand, 128 chances to win. But one of them could destroy the universe. Hmm. That seemed a bit serious. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Sky Ripper. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three names, but you pretended yeah. you had a fist in. That could work. Little bucket fishies and swimming around in the water. Hey, installing fans into the cases. What? This little Ragnarok. He's doing it with his tiny little Ragnarok fins. Ah, uh, Ragnarok is gonna hit some stuff with the sea. Yeah. Oh, man. oh no. This has been the, the case for the while for a while, Bino. <laughs> Campino. I mean, I can do two dollars. What am I looking at? Stop fun. Give choice. They're looking at box games. You're looking at stories, paths, and destinies. Gives us currently on a path to his destiny. And like the, the spot is literally they don't swing their rooms, they use common car. You know. They they chase after a a cat. The Emperor he set up the Sky Ripper and let it warm up. He would bluff if he had to. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that, she said in that annoying I know everything because I'm a cat, and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. Oh, I know the odds. Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. No, not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. What? Uh, no. Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. No, but See? Just that's like not how odds work. Didn't you pay attention in class? Now surrender, or I'll use it. Just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. He had to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. 
please? The Skyripper fired. With a tremendous whoosh, the Empress flagship went up in flames. It was awesome. And then he noticed there was a hole in the air. Oh. A blackness, like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger and even larger. Crates fell upwards into it, and the world itself seemed bent, like the reflection on a curved mirror. As it poured into the ravenous <laughs> 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 oh, no. What are the odds? Thought Renardo. And then everything fell into the hole <laughs> and was gone. Well, the odds were 1 in 28. One, 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 stared at the 128. Hole. He was still alive. Again. And still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure? Or only dreamt it? Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices. And he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny. But this... This was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learned another true thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly. My God, fuck it. We Game know. From the start. We know two truths, Bucketfish. <laughs> This guy oh, that Ronaldo, Ronaldo is stupid. The other is Ronaldo is stupid. But that meant <laughs> there must be a destiny where he survived and won, right? Uh, otherwise, what was the point? And with that, the book's pages fluttered back once more to the beginning and... The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renardo knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renardo had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renardo really leave an old friend to the Ravens? We'll go with the find the temple path now. The island was windswept desert. No one went there except ostriches and ostrich hunters. The Iblis Stone. It sounded ominous. It sounded powerful. If the Emperor was searching for it, it must be dangerous. And so, Bernardo went ostrich hunting. Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in a buried temple. Another ancient item that was only resurfacing now. Drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals. We need another color sword. This sword from the frigid north was really useful for making popsicles. And birdsicles. Good. We're gonna use the upgraded sword, but now we can unlock blue doors as well, Chairfish. We must unlock it's one shot. more door. Ooh. Purple. Or purple, as Skrillex would say. Renato distrusted doors that I'll open go this for the Especially after being buried for millennia. Was this some sort of trap?
Searching for a way in. Good. Then he hadn't come too late. Chefish. Good, Chefish. Good. He was more and more extraordinary. We're getting there, Chefish. We're getting there. Come on, good little champion. Go away. Oh, become true warrior fish. You have the blue. I have to switch. That is a very cool sword, thought Renata. No, seriously. He couldn't feel his paw anymore. Old sword. Find the stone. You have been chosen in the critical mission for your ability to follow orders to the letter without question. Do not believe the naysayers. Your score in the intelligence test is only proof that you are better geared than anyone to follow orders. Take pride in knowing that I, your emperor, have handpicked you for this mission. Oh, Lord, we're one sovereign If they didn't want their things broken, they really ought to make them stronger. Could beat right out of my house. Nice. Nine good. Oh my god, you explode yourself. What the fuck you found? Felt a little better. He did. I don't think so. We can increase our attack speed.
We need more purples. Burples. wasn't that good yet look at the chatfish they're not even sure what's happening there's like mm, lapino Crispy, nice. <laughs> the ravens at least could not get past this point. Obviously, the temple builders knew how to deal with tomb raiders. Laura Croft. But her womb needs raiding. It's on a little Splunky helmet, it's like I'm going I'm pretty in. sure that's the name of Porto. Oh. Rip. Rip. <laughs> this was much easier than free climbing. from the time of the lost gods it was a stone of the purest blackness it reflected no light like a void made solid nervous he picked it up I can't you, who said that it was the stone eager thirsty That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once, and Renardo wasn't sure he really wanted to be Emperor. Why not capture the core of Sky Ripper instead? It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. Hold the core, said the stone anxiously. Blood and death. Just like, <laughs> Chatfish must decide. Death stone or waifu. They're like, okay, dog. What? Screw that's not the choice. You're not even listening. What? what? What's the choice? Is it the stone doesn't want you to go after the core. It wants you to do things for it to kill, Why? defeat it, death. Who? This little evil, evil stone that follows you around. Just you like, don't know who. Death. You're not listening. Squirrel. I forgot the fucking name, Kibby. Kibby the stone. It is it's a princess, you dumb fucking yep. retard. Is this Zenobia? It wants to kill Zenobia. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's right there, yeah. up there. It yeah, it wants to. It wants the Regulusi. The, the stone is like, mmm, Regulusi, mmm, nom nom nom. You know? Chatfish so are deciding. Are going, yeah, chat, are you going to sacrifice the Reguli or the car? The Reguli? 60 seconds, Chatfish! Mm, they want, they want the sto to stone the cat girl, yeah. They're like, mmm, put stone inside the Regulusi. Mm. Sometimes we know. It's almost over, Chatfish. You're running out of time. 
Jeffish are like, no. Boop. It's over. Jeffish ran out of time. Then they split. Sacrifice. Oh, blood and death for Eblis. Why was he listening to a talking rock? Ah, but the rock had a point. If the stone could truly turn him into a powerful warrior, he could defeat the Emperor with the very weapon the wicked old toad had sought for himself. To be a hero, you had to sacrifice old friends sometimes, especially when they become enemies. As he placed the impossibly black crystal in his gauntlet, Renata had a sudden vision. Charred fields covered in dead ravens below a black sun. Was it the time of the lost gods before the transcendent emperor? Was it the future? Felizos. It whispered. He could feel the stone's hunger for souls. Its thirst for blood. All right, I get it. This was going to be interesting. No map, Ripper Rooney. I'd hope that this is the bonus way, not the way to go. Mother wasn't watching. Uh, there are several paths to have the same objective. They're like sometimes there are commandant paths that lead to the end, but like well, one of the paths that lead to the end is like uh, is very blocked by one of the guards. So now making sacrifices to slap rock this turn, right? Iblis rock. Yeah, we need to sacrifice to break. Can this? Yeah. More mineral fish. Ravi. Oh man. Use it to die. Kick and throw distances are increased. You impale a sword. Cool. Wish I could do that. Zenobia's island were no match for Renardo. They screamed as the stones sucked out their souls. And with each death, he felt stronger. Take the power. The stone told him. What is it? Nope. Don't want any of those orders. I want like the people. I can open people doors. People. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. I like the sword design that they had in the game. Bye. What about the app the appreciate so, Bino? Uh, what about what? What about the appreciate so, Bino? I like how far Tony they look and they look cool. Bino will be destroyed. And the Bino's destroyed. Right. Yeah, that, that's how the swords need to be in every game. Bino's. Big and strong. And this is why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Get it? Uh... He couldn't do worse with Zenobia than he'd done with the core, could he? Mm. 
No, I'm a squeaky, sneaky jetfish. I agree with the beans, this polymathy. You blinked. Oh, you got the gym. Wow, something Beano doesn't even know what that means. Hey, Penguin. Hey, Gregorus. How are you doing? Welcome to this stream. They're dead. Oh. Why are you walking circles now? But Yeah, you're walking circles for some reason. <laughs> Silence, Beano. You don't pay to Beano. Say, you don't get paid just sales and you get paid to... Well, what are the free pair doing today? Well, Kips and Beano are currently in the stream. Zenobia was yeah. waiting for Renato. She was alone, confident as always. Fire danced at the tips of her claws. Are you here to surrender? She seemed as cocksure as he felt. But she didn't know he had the stone. And I've missed you too, love. He chuckled. She spotted the stone and bolted without another word. And so, oh, shit. Hey. Come on. Hey, your workbench. He could try out his new bling. Body. They're both dealing with the birds in their own way, says Polymathy. Oh no. Yeah. Beano. That's a legal right. Beano! It's only legal if they catch you. It's only legal if they catch you. Beano's like, Beano, 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 Beano. He just chants Beano over the and things over Things Beano says sometimes. Finally, Renato caught up to her. He had never seen her scared before. At school, she'd been the determined, brave one. Now her eyes were wide, frightened. He didn't like seeing her this way. Kill her, whispered the stone. This stone is a shed fish like over the... Please, no, said Zenobia. Black Not that way. Oh, they had been so close once. Could he really feed her soul to his demonic gem? But if he spared her... He would not get the full power of the stone. Oh, how could he be the hero he wanted to be? God. I'll make you bow. The, the, the fucking stone is just like a shed fish with like gold into his wallet. Like, you know, uh, you are now. You Beat her to the stone. Spare the pussy. Or spare <laughs> the pussy. You could have like destroy pussy, spare pussy, you know. You know. Sometimes. Chatfish, you have one minute before the poll closes. Prepare your bodies. Ooh, my body is not prepared. Chatfish is our leading and squeak of so over chatfish. Chatfish have determined that they're just yellow little bucket fishies. It's simply in our nature to be yellow. 
Oh no. As it is in your nature to be dead. has chosen Squeakrevice. With a flick of his wrist, he slashed Zenobia's throat. Her eyes widened even more. And then the light went out of him. Renardo felt amazing. Power was rushing into him like water from a burst dam. Exalted the Iblis stone. Mm. Tasty. <laughs> Quiznos. Renato returned <laughs> to the Farfarer and set a course for the Nexus. The Empire had a communication outpost there. He could call the Emperor directly. It was time to seize the outpost and let the Emperor know what he had done. Like, what the fuck, man? The Nexus was beautiful. He never realized how beautiful. Everything glowed. The wind was so sweet. The sun so soft. The stone so warm. The black raven feathers. Black feathers. Suddenly, his eyes are filled with them. He's falling through smoke under a dead sun. The voice calls him home. Is this a vision? Who's? Is this the time of the lost gods? Or the future? No matter. What mattered now was killing his way to the Imperial outpost and challenging the Emperor from there. We're doing it, Bucketfish. She's committing heinous evil acts. You're making Celeste I proud. I what I can make with all these sword crafting materials. War crimes for everybody. Oh, no tables. Two dollars. What is this? Is it any good? Scale of one to crap. It's, it's pretty good. good. It's a fun game. It's not supposed to be like one of the games that you play for hundreds of hours. But something it's a fun useful game. in these things, didn't there? Yeah, this. <laughs> it has a story to tell. Up ahead was Lapino. What was he doing here? Bernardo. <laughs> Hey, buddy! Hey there, old buddy! Please don't kill me! Why would I kill you? Asked Renardo, although he had been thinking about it. Well, uh, you've become... Uh, no, 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 I mean, no disrespect at all here. Kind of... evil? Maybe uh, you should, I don't know, go to the mountains to... Have a think. See if maybe you're sure the stone is not all that healthy a thing to keep. I suppose you want it, Renato said, and poked Lapino in the chest for emphasis. Oh, and nice. he just killed Lapino. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Stabbed him. <laughs> Lapino deserves it, fucking traitor. You betrayed the rebellion. There was an engraving. Uh, for Maximum capacity, 130 people. I forgot about this one. <laughs> There's a lot of gems in this game. Ah, oh, there. You can make the purple sword now. Now no door will hide its secrets from me. Void blade. He goes faster? Or yeah. is that just the puffs?
Renato rampaged through the Imperial outpost like a water buffalo rampaging. At the last moment, he remembered not to kill the far speaker tone. After all, he wanted a word with the Emperor. But there was only silence. <laughs> the Emperor was scared, like little girl. Well, he would gather the rebel army and slaughter the Imperial fleet. Yes! Applauded the Iblistone. Tremendous. Then the Emperor would have to answer his far speaker, wouldn't he? Who are you? Asked a distant voice that sounded uncomfortably like Zenobia. What have you become? The mountains. Go to the mountains, urged another that sounded a bit like Lupino. Time to fight. Le Listen to the distant Le voices. Lupino the voices oh. were no voices. He had a job to do. A rebellion to lead, a war to win. Yes, he had to go to the rebel base and rally everyone. Maybe you should listen to the voices and go to the mountains. Heed the voices and... Fight, kids, fight, murder. You, you already sacrificed the Regulus in this run. Like, what else can you lose? Huh? What are you talking about? Just right there. Jeffers must decide. They were like, <laughs> just vibrating. <laughs> Chess like ignoring the voices. They're like, mm, blood, souls, but the squeak refice. Shut up. 60 seconds until poll concludes and then chatfish will have blood. It looks like many chatfish want slaughter and mayhem. Only a few chatfish wish to contemplate their sins. <laughs> Why do chatfish commit so many sins? <laughs> it seems that chatfishies are staying focused. They've managed to hold true like all good bucketfish. Time to fight. Renato called the Rebel Council to let them know to gather their forces. Then he killed the Far Speaker Toad. Why? Oh, because to make sure his sword was sharp. Oh no, that's awful. So no one else could use it. Yes, that's it. Then he set off for the ruins and the secret Rebel base. Ah, the ruins were crawling with ravens. Probably looking for the secret base, Renato thought. But then he realized they're probably looking for me. They must be very scared of me. Well, here I am. You, you are the finest warrior ever, ever, whispered the Iblistone. And he had to agree with it for once. Who was as good as Renato? They stole this base, what they used on the Hell Divers. Like, yeah, you're the best Hell, hell Diver ever. <laughs> Only shot like a fool. Really. Renata wondered who was leaving chests of sword crafting supplies around. He wanted to thank him. Get ahead of yourself, lad. Mm -hmm. Materials. Mm, Bag of fish. No!
Come to think of it, Renato thought as he put down another raven. Why shouldn't I be emperor? I, how did anybody get to be emperor anyway? By making war. Oh, I mean, not counting the transcendent emperor, obviously, who had banished the last guards and started time. Yes, he should be emperor. He would make a great emperor. Right, Stone? Didn't your mother tell you it's rude to stare? Snapped Renato, a little smug. We destroyed the little eyeballs of destiny, Jeffish. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. Ah, oh, damn. So this was what oh. it was like to die. Not nearly as much fun as they said. We died because Jeffers did it. He murdered us. Good in Good in I love how the eyeball thing... Damn heart cut into hams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Let's work up that combo. Come on, Bucket Fish. Come on! Bucket Fish! Renato strode into the council. Let's do this thing. Let's make me emperor. They looked confused and nervous. Ah, had he mentioned the emperor thing? Yeah, he meant to bring that up later. Um, I mean, let's go win this rebellion. He waved his sword around encouragingly. They ran. Cowards. He'd stop them. He cut down a few to inspire the others. But soon, there was no one to cut down. <laughs> he well, killed then, them all. He'd have to attack the police <laughs> alone. More for me, he said. Unless it was the stone that said it. Traitors. Traitors, all of them. They'd run rather than following him, rather than cheering him. What should he do to the cowards? Anything he wanted to. After all, he was a true hero, the best warrior there ever was. No one could stop him now. <laughs> but first, finish him. The Emperor, that is. Where was the rebel fleet? They weren't even trying an assault. They were going to miss a day in history. The downfall of this dynasty, and a new one to take its place. He didn't have to kill all the ravens. He could enslave them, and enslave the toads too. All the animals would worship him <laughs> as a god, for he had once been a god. They would willingly give him their blood and their souls. And the world would change, would become familiar again. He's me, for real, for real. 
Maybe. I should follow my nose, thought Bernardo. All you mentioned is ten dollars. I can walk you through decisions to the missing clues after this to get the true ending. Arcana yeah. start, Nia fund, talk fund. Thank you, uh, Polly. The, the, the other and the, the other truth is the one that I don't remember. That's why I was about to look into a guide to help kids. Woo! Oh, so shit. I'm working on stuff for you guys. Oh, my nose is itchy. Fuck. Die, Rebel uh, Scratch it. Scratch your nose. Do it. Get the boogies Itch. out. We need to suck. Scratchy, scratchy. Suffer. I think Beano should suffer. We need to suffer. Renato was glowing with dark power. Already the sun had dimmed. He could do anything he realized. He could wrap the island safely in smoke again. He was beyond a hero. He was going to become a god again. How odd, he thought. The Edmiston had nothing to say about any of this. Well, no matter. Once he killed this petty toad emperor, he would bring back the Black Sun. Oh no. Silver Chapish. Really needed a roof. Takashi says he is a fair feet. I think he'll be spelled. Gives us a cat point. No, he didn't say cat point. He said a mean Ooh. word. Furry. Once you try it, you're hooked. Killing birds, champ. We're after birds. Only birds. He kills some frogs off screen, but mostly birds. Gonna go into the beak. Okay. <laughs> Found the Emperor and the Council huddling by his ship, plotting. They saw him and cowered before him. Back to hell, fiend! Croaked <laughs> the Emperor desperately. In the name of the Transcendent Emperor! Croaked the Speaker. They held some arcane items he didn't recognize. He simply flexed his will and sucked their souls out of their bodies. <laughs> and Iblis exulted. <laughs> it is finished. And the void that had been a mere stone on a sword expanded. Stretched and ripped like a vast womb. And a gaze black and pitiless as the sun passed through the void into the land. And so time ended and just like that he was alive again <gasps> and back on the farfarer still fleeing burning uber the book was still open before him so the book was a portal it took you to the future when your destinies would branch he had failed and died three times but he learned another true thing the iblis stone was evil it would try to corrupt anyone who used it my god 
Just the final truth. But and the more you know, you bet. Yeah. But he was starting to feel like he was getting the hang of this. There was a way through to victory. He could feel it. He just had to keep running the path of destinies. With that, the book fluttered back to the beginning, and he fell into it. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Start sky, the sky Reaper. Bernardo knew that policy. using it could go catastrophically wrong. All he right, we should figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? You have to start sky ripping. All right, Sky Ripper it is. Every yep. child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces deep. And then, this Emperor's horrific sacrifices had brought it back to the surface. Renato wasn't exactly sure how to use the legendary weapon. But surely, there must be some way to do it without provoking another catastrophe. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth, it was more than Renato could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. As he set foot on the island, Renato couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Did rabbits? Renato felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renato never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? More time will tell. Build it and attack the outpost. It would be fun to try out that one. And here was a uh, uh, Do you have to build it with the part as well? Or you build the, build the armature and the car, and then attack the outpost. He said build it. So we gotta build the Sky Ripper. Alright. I assume that means getting the core as well. Yeah, probably. Ooh. Burr. Burr. Nice. The, seeing all those eyes getting me hungry, because I see them turning into hand and it's like, mm -hmm. You know? But you feel other things when you saw ham, you know? Ah, the road less traveled, thought Renato. Oh, my neck. Why do you, you, you gay? I assume things of you, Pino. Things that, things that are often correct, Pino. You say weird things about birds that died on your electric uh, well, power you lines. Lost your power. Oh, fuck. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, birds. Bird. <laughs> that had been his mistake before, thinking he could win a battle of wills with an ancient evil all by himself. Yep, armature and core, okay. He had to all be right, cleverer okay. than that. Or braver. Or 
Something. Something. The truth behind the Sky Ripper is shrouded in a thick fog. The most believable tale is that the Transcendent Emperor has used the Sky Ripper to banish Iblis. The T.E. buried the weapon and vanished. Was it a self-imposed exile to rid the world of its last divine presence? Or was it the price to pay for using such a tremendous power? Could the Sky Ripper and Ilbus have a deeper connection than just a weapon and its victim? If only it's some kind of magic ice sword. Booty. So we have. So we want to make this really epic game, but we only have budget for two enemy models this stone age. Game's actually not bad. For the price, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just pointing out that it's mostly just killing grave. I mean, enemies are expensive. I'll tell you this much. So, you know, we just released the concept art for the cannon. That costs, like, a few hundred euros, you know, to design. Because it takes a lot of time and research and all that. Oh, the thought made him shiver. Like, it ain't cheap. And that's just to get the concept art phase done. Not every enemy can just be a pair of giant boobers with a deeply eyes in each chest. How far it took me. Damn it, I would already came. These things could really use a hand. Still wondering why as to how little old Rinaldo is able to revert time. Uh, he's, he's not. Prepared. He's reading the book. You remember the prologue? Yeah. The prologue, he oh. got the book. Oh. We're reading it. He's literally just looking in the book. He has yet to do anything. I should go, he thought. So, if you remember right, in the prologue, the bunny got turned into ash, right? And the bunny died. We took the book from him and we're just reading the book. Everything we've done, he hasn't actually done. He hasn't moved. Well, he has a little bit since he, like, read it, but he's this reading it. It's a magic book. It's a magic It's still, it's, okay, so the game is giving him a fair point, actually. Yeah, it's based like uh, when he acts. At least he's going to act in a way that he's doing him. Like, the book shows you the truth. He's like, yeah, don't do it. Don't, you don't do it. You can't, you don't, don't do it, you know? Yeah. Oh, and I get that combo, huh? I died to the Asian Bunny 7. Yes, you did die, Harlot. Oh, dude. Barely had any help. The hero sword seems like the best, most it's universally like it's useful the, sword. Yeah, it's the most useful. Especially if you have the gem that gives you <laughs> mana on field. I think this is yours, said Renato. He couldn't hear his enemy's answer. Back fish. Remember later if our high level, you can get a skill that like lets you insta kill the enemies. If uh, that one, that school one, I think. Kill any enemy in a single strike. Auto activates when reaching a certain combo. Yeah, if you have it level two. Yeah, now when you have twenty combo, 
You kill most enemies in one game. Hudson is twenty dollars. Poor bunny. Oh, Sky Rippers armature. The stuff that dreams are made. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Engineer, anyway. Yeah. The Engineer. device was intricate. <laughs> no one alive had the skill game. to make a thing like it. And Polly. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. At first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart, a core that had come to rest in the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. You need a big chatfish. No, 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 we're, 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 going, we're, going, we're going with a uh, Oh, we need Yeah, because uh, that because way you can kill Ray. That's right. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. Fuck Lapino. He's a. All my homies hate Lapino. I hate Lapino. I'm not supposed to be no. And he would make more if, uh, before the end. He would have to choose the greatest well, good no Lepino matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. He looked up at the old trees around him. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He, he was, was plenty okay. important. He was a hero. And soon he'd prove it. Bucket. Okay. Pilot Matthew donated $20. Poor Bunny, he died doing what he never thought possible. Proving rabbits are apparently flammable. No. Dear Zenobia, the director of the Academy has told me how much he was impressed by your academic performance and leadership. Somehow I doubt this was a session of bootlicking. I have seen plenty of those. That old toad is sincere. I am proud of you, my daughter. You will make a fine empress one day. On my end, great news. Professor Calvarus has been studying the Nexus, and he has made a bold observation. That toad is a true genius. You know that uh, you know how that is uh, how that island is unique, constantly changing, new crystalline formations appearing, island fragments merging, splitting, slowly drifting, held together by some invisible threads. Professor Calvarus is convinced. Those changes are not random, but are rather indicative of the living nature of the islands. He has observed that certain changes on the Nexus follow or sometimes precede a turbulence on another isla island, landslide, quake, flood. The Nexus seems to resonate with those events. Maybe the islands are a hive mind and the Nexus is the brain. In any, circum in any case, I am funding a permanent scientific observatory on the Nexus. It will attract the Empire's greatest minds. With Professor Calvarus at the helm, I anticipate a great age of enlightenment for the Empire. With love, Father. Well, Chatfish, it appears the Emperor was once a man who was good. Just like the Lord said. We've known that. Ah, oh, I broke the combo. Combo. No, I wasn't paying attention. Block it, bitch. Block it. Wishy boy. Someone has spent a lot of money for a graduation present. We need to get Kibbs into a sauna. Ah, but Kibbs is hella for the sauna. Just Kibbs, no, a sauna, not a sauna. Stupid, Beano. 
not my fault that your leaves makes you hard for this. I don't have a leaf. I don't hide I don't like Pino. Haha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pino. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brazil. Uh -huh. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. What's behind? Door number two. You almost never saw wild gogglers together like this. The toads had to train them not to peck each other to death. So these had to be imperial gogglers. That meant ravens were up ahead. And ravens there were. Now we one hit kill everything. Ha ha ha! Good to practice your moves. Become real warrior. There's a door over there. Fewer and fewer trees. There are only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where had they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. Show me your moves, really. Show me your Show moves. Of power. Ooh, he didn't find those every day. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's really <laughs> happy. I appreciate you, kid. I may Mr. say happy I fucking good. despise you with all my every fiber of my being, and that is true. But I do appreciate you, kid. <laughs> do you hear that chat? Uh, Rigoline is a uh, legendary. Up to yeah, This couldn't be good for global warming. And that would be geniuses. Dead birds. We have the, the artifact. The sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark art, and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah, that made him feel better. He carried his <laughs> prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. I mean, dang. Like maybe I hate Lapino. If this really was some sort of super weapon, Polly. or rather, one could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. Polly, and if it wasn't, we go to the outpost. He... Better to know that he before the final really battle. But to them, maybe he should show it to some while. scientists first. What? There was an observatory on the Nexus. I, I, maybe he should go I wrote there to him before he Why use it? Why you see thing? Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to do no time for fussing, attack the outpost. Scarper mm -hmm. was complete, but would it oh, yeah. work at a critical moment? Maybe it needed field yeah. testing, and the Imperial outpost on the Nexus was the perfect target. It is. Renato had never been much of a student. At Swordfu School, he'd never read the books, just looked at the pictures. Hmm. And Zenobia. 
but weapons he understood. His gut told him that the Skyripper would work great. He would use it to take out the Imperial outpost. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The thing wouldn't work, and then he'd take it to the scientists, right? Renato actually could think of a few things that were worse, but he would make sure they didn't happen this time, right? Exactly. Things would be different this time, Jetfish. Like if I use the evil stone, it kills everyone. If I use a sky reaper badly, As it he kills set out everyone. Down the path. Renato wondered why the parts of the Sky River had only my girlfriend. Now, I died. Thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had discarded it, this Emperor, Isengrim III, had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Perhaps that was bringing up lost artifacts. How perfect, then, that the Sky River would reappear to be his destruction. And hopefully this time, just is. Because <laughs> last time it killed us. The platform used a hybrid is, propulsion system fueled by anti gravity yeah. and wishful sad. thinking. Fish, don't do it. Okay. Had that door been open before? No. The chef is not sure. Exactly, I'll put it in Not everyone knew how to use magical gems. Of course, not everyone had magical gem gauntlets like he did. Cheat him. There's a fox who doesn't cheat. He was tired of slaughtering ravens. Maybe it was time to test out the new weapon. He turned a knob on the Sky Ripper. It made strange mechanical noises. The wheel spun faster. It began to hum. The Sky Ripper was following his every step. At least it acknowledged him as the master. But there was no trigger. How was he supposed to fire it? Fire, he said. Nothing happened. Well, maybe it just needed to warm up. After all, it hadn't been fired in thousands of years. Where was a workbench when you needed one? Oh, never mind. You need to upgrade that sword. It is weak and feeble. If you upgrade every sword, you'll get an achievement. In relevant squilly. <laughs> The Sky Ripper was making a whining noise now, and its wheels were spinning so fast he could no longer see them. Renato had a thought. Please? He asked. The Sky Ripper began to glow. Boom! The outpost burst into flame. They are all dead. Screaming, wings on fire. <laughs> The base was his. The fire speaker toad came hopping out. Renato! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. Don't use the Sky Ripper. It will destroy the world. Yeah, sure it will, cracked Renato. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. He'll tell you the same thing. Oh, she would say that. That sounded sensible. 
Why did she always have to sound sensible all the time? She's being a woman. Infuriating. Ignore her chat. He was supposed to hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the Council so the Rebels could actually win the war. But we go. If she was right. Or maybe we go check it. Yeah, two. We're gonna fire twice, right? Polymath is saying attack the outpost and then attack the fleet after. Yep. The fleet. The fleet isn't the rebellion. Press the attack. All right. Polly says. Just this once. Polly will. He would not let Zenobia get into his head with her logic and her wisdom and her appeals to reason. He was a fox. He'd go with his instincts and it would all work out like it always did. Yeah. He was sounding like a reckless idiot even to himself. But if there was one thing Renato could never bring himself to do, it was turn back on a decision he'd made. Just like kids for real for Imperials were flapping and cawing all around the ruins. They must be panicking with rumors flying of the super weapon. Maybe they hoped to find and destroy the base before he could put the Sky Ripper into action. The Sky Ripper was whining and heating up. It will be time to use that energy soon. Good chips, good. What could he craft with the materials he had? Renato had a pretty good idea, actually. Amazon sent Ragnarok to wrong PSU. That sucks. Um, make sure you double check, PSU. but yeah. What's PSU with it? Never tell, never tell Bino. Let Bino suffer. Bino. What is, think it's an acronym. What does it stand for? I'll oh, give you a hint. Uh, get, here, I'll tell you what. One of the letters, I'll tell you what they mean. You couldn't you and it, yeah. jewels Okay, and what, what's the other two letters? Yeah, if you drop the physical... Physical? <laughs> what does a computer yeah. need? Uh, power uh, supply unit. Power supply yeah, unit. Yeah, Bino! You, you looked that up, that didn't you? I know the, the name is for you in Portuguese. You got the gringo. He's like, whoa, <laughs> gringo. Yeah, but I don't know. that Bino is, is as dark as Strata. No, oh, I'm white. 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 He wondered if the council knew he destroyed the outpost. He hoped so. He was excited. With his super weapon, they could actually win their battle with the Imperial fleet. My god, Chadwick. Alright. Impact damage hooked enemies. Eh. Eh. Nice. That could be useful. Too hasty. Ba 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 ba, Bino. When Bino died, dead he little just Bino. Can't bean anymore. There was an inscription on the platform: Balaleka lessons with an address.
Traffic are like, whoa, bro. They can't, they just don't know what's happening, really. The brains are just shrinking as we speak. This stone was incredibly valuable. Naro could sense it. Also, it still had its price tag. Which, you know, shows how valuable it was, Trevor. What was Zenobia talking about? This was a fantastic weapon. Ravens burst into flames with just a touch of its killer beam. He was tempted to leave it on all the time, but he didn't want to accidentally slice off some council bull's head or tongue. She'd been trying to distract him. Well, this time, no one was going to distract him. Billy do. But surprisingly, unwounded. Jetfish, we must do it. Wait, nope, I need a hundred before I can upgrade the people's oid. A hundred minerals. Well, oh, weird dude. Was it nice mission? Oh. Kako's weird dream. For some reason, the owner was always nervous. Home for the rebel base, Chatfish. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. He was on fire. So far, so good. We did it, Jetfish. We gotta open the blue door. Renato had once invested in a jewel store, but it lost money because someone kept robbing it. Twist. It was him. As he headed towards the council chamber, Renato felt everyone watching him. You've saved the rebellion, said the council speaker. Frankly, we were afraid you'd turn aside to see that idiot Lapino. Not bloody likely, Renato told them, feeling he was maybe being a bit harsh in the poor mad rabbit. If you never make sacrifices, he said, you're probably not doing the right thing. The speaker nodded. Are you ready to lead the charge? Let's roll, he said, with grim satisfaction. Renato set sail for the fleet. The Sky Ripper had lost its wine. It was humming now, as if it had taken some time to seat properly. He had always been irresponsible. This time, he'd done the right thing, made the hard decisions. Yeah. He was a real hero. He hadn't let himself be distracted by old friends or old lovers turned enemies. Finally, he could be proud of himself. We've done a chat. We're gonna beat the game now. Just holy shit. He was ready. Oh. So was Sky Ripper. Sorry. The Sky Ripper had a will of its own. It picked out its own targets and set them on fire. Now, this was gonna be a short battle. He would set the ships on fire if he didn't need them to get to the Emperor. And he wondered if he'd see Zenobia, or if she'd flee. <laughs> Wouldn't she be proud of him? At least, a bit of respect. He'd become an all-conquering hero. There was a pleasant breeze coming through that door. Had it been closed before? It had, it had. Damn it. Well, we can beat the game on the next run.
run through yeah, this poly. Yeah, the last, the last run is the run you will use all the troops together to get through the through the through end. So you do the, so after this one, like, where he properly yeah, uses the thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the final run. We just beat the game second to last. There was a parchment on the signpost. Almost. It was from her. Every time you fire. I was thinking about it, like you, you haven't really used everything That's you've insane. come across so far. We surrender. They surrender. He'd done it. He'd played chicken with Zenobia, and won. He could hear the horns blaring the retreat. She was wiser than he was, that was for sure. But wisdom didn't win battles. What was really fun was hooking yourself onto a moving ship. Now, Zenobia surrendered, but the Emperor didn't. Catfish, we're doing it. Little bit of faith. Turns out, what? Each time. Pet, what do, they don't realize is Gibbs is going through player growth. Give me stronger. Gibbs going through player growth. Yep. <laughs> More confident. We're not a wonder. Oh, oh, is round and yellow. Yeah. Would he be rescued by an emergency platform? There's the Emperor. And there was Zenobia, wearing the white robes of surrender. She came and kneeled before him. Why didn't you listen to me? I was trying to save you too. You're the enemy, he said. I was never your enemy, Renato. Then she spoke a terrible word and made a gesture with her hand. She stopped moving, covered in frost, and he wondered why she'd frozen herself. Then the Sky Ripper froze, and then, for a moment, he felt very cold and discovered that he couldn't move. The next thing he knew, the sun was a giant, monstrously red. It took up half the sky, and he was in a parched red desert. And then he was on fire. Oh. Damn it. They've been frozen for a while. Lost again. The sun exploded. They went supernova. Behind him. He still had all his destinies ahead of him. How did he go supernova? Turn into a giant. And the Zenobia still the had planet. feelings for him. And he exploded. He died. We learned about Zenobia. Now the final path. Yeah. I kind of felt like you, you already knew she had feelings for you, though. <laughs> he knew enough now, he thought. All these truths tumbling around each other in his head. There must be a way to puzzle the pieces together. If he used everything he knew, he could discover a new path to destiny. The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again. Faster than before? And he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong, but he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. 
It could corrupt its but user into a bloodthirsty monster. The new Maybe line will open. He could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. As a of key. course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the so rebellion. So we just need to And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his so advantage. Like, uh, Polly, choose the quiz, right? We can use it to our advantage. Yeah. So we yeah. know that he betrays Renato now. finally realized that Lapino was a traitor to the cause. Yes. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. We unlocked the final path. Renato couldn't quite put his and all these back to Lapino from the Empire. He never exactly seen Lapino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lapino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it might be worth the trip. <laughs> We must teach that bastard Lapino a less messenger. They had so Mission. many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times, and Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. Maybe, maybe you need to bug break the. Uh, uh, bug break Bino? Oh, okay. No, that's why he was suggested, but the bunny. You're a Lapino. It's a bunny, not the fox. Renato checked to make sure he's so But he'd always felt that the rabbit resented him. Lapino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Renato remembered when he'd first stolen one of these. Good times. Good times. Minerals. Woo. Oh. The game takes the radiant story approach in storytelling. It's nice, but God, getting to the real ending, numbing my this brain a bit. Was eight years ago when I played it. Ah, uh, yeah. The size of an ant. What was that all about? There's anyway? some very fun. There's some very fun caps though. Like... Kill only the people. Not yet, but soon. Bye, little moogie fish. Rest in pieces. Hmm, what was behind that door? Those are just nothing. Renato's yeah. nose told him there was treasure there. He's like the one, one of the few great people in a hurry. That stir and, and the new Surely one. They wouldn't the mind if he helped himself to it. After all, he wouldn't even know. Attack speed level three, motherfucker. Nice scream. You cry. Follow the wind, bitch. Maybe. You moan. Down the hole. Landing everywhere from dropships. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, the rabbit would give the Empire all the intelligence he'd been stealing from the rebellion, and they'd probably give him a medal. Mm, he'd have to be very careful about how he played Lapino. At the slightest hint of danger, the mad rabbit would take off like a well, a rabbit. 
My God. Bloody and exhausted, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Hmm. Now that he knew what the rabbit was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You sent me an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Oh, I am. The ravens are coming. Now, I've got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, you're a traitor and I'm not falling for it. But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous mostly to its user. If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, old Lysengrim III might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes, that was it. I realize denounce the traitor. Maybe you should denounce the rabbit here and now and put an end to his schemes. No, that's hasty. That's... I remember, it's, I think it's the core. Yeah. Yep, it's gotta be the core because it's not the hasty option. Renato felt yeah. like a real hero, brave and smart. He told the rabbit all about the Sky Ripper's God's Eye core. I'll go get the core while you attack Zenobia, he told the rabbit. But wait, I've a better idea. I'll get the core, and you attack Zenobia, said the rabbit. Right, yeah, that is better, agreed Renato. Perfect. The traitor would make sure the Emperor got the core. <laughs> now Renato just needed the Emperor to use the core. If he could only get something that the Emperor wanted very badly. Zenobia. He could save her and bait the Emperor at the same time. It's working, Chatfish. Right. Now, all Renato had to do was fight his way through Zenobia's invading troops, sneak onto her ship and into her bedroom, and kidnap her without any of her dozens of guards alerting her. Then, he would rely on her love for him to convince her how evil her father was, so she'd run away with him instead of going back to her father, who was going to blow himself up. Hmm. Who was going to it blow himself <laughs> up? <laughs> a little risky. But Renato had I like a plan how it would work getting out faster. Now. <laughs> I'm happy guys I like it again. It's a pretty cool game. It's better play each part. Lapino gonna explode. Bino's cousin, Lapino. <laughs> <laughs> we made the assertion that he was Lapino Kibo. This is cousin. Albino is too much of a gay fox. After you get the insta kill thing, it gets very, way better. <laughs> ooh, 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 a workbench. Did he have any jewels he had to try out? He had. Max level void blade. Basically, when you, max, uh, when you max their level, it like uh, enhances the enhance. It enhances the the magic that they use. the jewel's power. He had a feeling they were going to be great friends. You have a quick good chance. Labino. <laughs> Little bunnies are dead. I'm with Albino. I'm really glad you're enjoying this game. It's Polly Matthew. Oh, yeah, you're a good little Polly fish. Yeah, Polly fish. The new pathway made Renato curious.
They had a German side. Labino. Rado was halfway to Zenobia's encampment when Lapino showed up. He was disheveled and distraught. They jumped us. I barely got away. Oh, they got the core. Oh, it was all going according to plan, thought Renato. Now he just needed Zenobia on his side. Mm, yes, that was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia could get it. And then the Emperor would have to pursue them. Oh, no. Wait. No. No. The gem would corrupt anyone, even her. That's it, he thought. Even Lapino. Even though Lapino was already a traitor, it would turn him against his secret master, the Emperor. He would try to make himself Emperor. And the Emperor would have to defend himself with the core. Boom. He was a super genius. I feel like that might be biting off more than we get to. <laughs> Polly. Oh, to send Lapina. Lapino is probably the better one to send than Zenobia because Zenobia would be I, corrupted. I remember it is Lapino if I remember correct. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. No. Uh, no. no, yeah. Looks I, like it feels like a red I, herring. You know, it's because I re if I remember correctly, if you send Zenobia, you can make like Zenobia baby. Let's ball and like she goes and drops the stone. But I don't. Let's confirm with Polly, you know. He says send Lapino. Lapino will be sent. I thought you could. Jeffish will also him. want Lapino to be sent. I'm thinking you mix it up with your own head cannon and she killed you a bit. This is Maybe. terrible, Renata told the rabbit. If only I had gone for the Iblis Stone. But now it's lost in enemy territory. He handed Lapino a map. It gives the bearer so much power. We can only hope the Emperor never finds it. What was that? Said Lapino. I, I, I think someone's following us. I didn't hear anything. Rabbit ears. You go on ahead. I'll check it out. And with that, Lapino hopped off with the map. That returns to die, send Lapino. Lapino's going to his death. We hope. Well, I think like, for Lapino, he needs some pussy. He needs some pussy. the sound his sword made in the air. Dear Zenobia, as you read this letter, you are locked in your chambers, ready to spend your last night before well you know. I will not apologize. I know you are too proud to forgive me. I also know you won't resist reading through you are a cat as much as I have tried to educate you like a proper toad. I swear to you, and you have to believe me, that I did not plan all this when I adopted you. You have always been a, my special little kitten. That is why I am writing this now, weeks in advance. I know I will not have the heart to do it in the, uh, the night of the sacrifice. If I think of you as my daughter, then I may change my mind. You must think I am selfish, and yes, I am a selfish, sad little toad that is afraid to die. But what I am doing will ultimately serve the greater good. I want the power. I want it all. And so I will keep my subjects content. Peace for eternity. Even if you hate me now, you can still respect that. You have to. It is the only way I can forgive myself for doing this to you. I will miss you for eternity. Tomorrow, try not to make a scene. Everyone will be watching. Still with love, Father. A bit morbid. Yeah. Is that his kick price for him? Yeah. Square, square. The whole, the whole thing is the Emperor got, got more. I remember that they came back now. They like destroy the world. 
that's the whole... I have not considered perhaps the idea of death. Yeah, and like, he's like, oh, maybe if I try to make a deal with the old gods that killed everyone, you know? Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. She was curled up on her bed. Mm, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. Oh no, Rapey! How sleek, how soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She was made of smoke, and he noticed he had a very solid blade to his throat. Did you really think you could capture me? Heard a familiar voice. I just wanted to chat, said Renato. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He needs a sacrifice. Someone who truly loves him to make a bargain with the lost gods. That's a vicious lie. He wants to bring them back. That, that, that's crazy. Why would anyone? They could make him immortal. An eater of souls. And with that, her eyes widened. She understood. Renardo told her how he had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred. How he had slept in a burnt village. At midnight, the Emperor's victims had come to him in his dreams to tell him of the hideous eldritch rituals they'd been sacrificed in. He could still see those kittens and puppies. Their wide, sad eyes, their moist noses. You can't prove that. I've got a witness at the observatory. The truth is being unveiled, Chetfish. Then Lapino to Brazil, he says India. Not yet. Why he was Indio. really here. The late he didn't want her to be anywhere near the fleet when her father blew himself and Lapino up. So he told her about how the Emperor's obscene rituals had raised ancient artifacts out of the land. How he'd followed the appalling trail of the hideous horrors His Majesty had perpetrated for the sake of his own immortality. Any of this ring a bell? He said. He told me it was all lies. You've always known when I was lying. I always hated that about you, said Renato. The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. He'd once met a pirate captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. Oh, what was his name again? Captain, Captain Hook. We slaughter them like animals, Chetfish. Well, no, you slaughter them like crows. They won't. Don't won't you be think won't I'd be know there. if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you join in? Uh, no. I'd destroy his books and, and I'd... Oh, God. Okay. You're not completely wrong. They've resurrected one of his victims. Well, look, I mean, look, it's not exactly alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she said. Take a leap of faith, said the inscription. Can you jump off? No, you can't. Plummets. Forever. Into the abyss. I'm still gonna come back and squeal wee. At least the rest of the pirates are correct, she's in Ragnarok. Still missing his PSU. Energy stinks. Nice. Easy to dodge, but why did they sting if you didn't pay attention?
There we go, a little button pinch. Come on. There we go. Now we got our 20 multiplier. They all die instantly. <laughs> They're no match for me. Combat report. They live like aviants, so Beano violated them like aviants. Folly. Have a good one, Kyo Kyo. We're all dead. Lepino. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken special care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared at the carnage. He didn't want me to hear the witness, did he? I guess not. What's your plan? She asked. So, Renato explained his brilliant gambit. Sending Lapino to get the Ibla Stone, become super powerful and corrupted, provoke the Emperor into using the core against him, thus blowing up both of them, and hopefully the fleet too. Let me visit your council, she said, shaken. I want to help. Could he really trust her? Tell her where the secret base was? Not so much. He should lie about the location of the secret base just to be safe. No! We can trust the women. He'd done it. He'd made Zenobia see how evil her father really was. He wished she didn't feel this urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the Emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. I think you can trust her, considering that, What you know, had Zenobia gone off to do? She'd always trust her. What was more important than meeting the rebel council? Had he made a mistake, sending her to the oh, ruins? Back. No. He knew they could trust each other. He could trust her because she never broke her word. And she could trust him because she could see right through him. Well, she'd probably be there well before him. She at least didn't have to fight her way through rainstorms of ravens. Oh, so champish. Oh, let me do that. Oof. Whenever those exploding boys hurt like a son of a bitch. The chopping your little kid. He missed her. Not Zenobia. Hypatia. The kid's mother. Renato had never thought he'd date a librarian. He'd always figured himself for the barmaid type. But then, he'd never figured the library of Ubar would have comic books, or that Hypatia would know anything about them. He missed her. That's where we learned about Hypatia. It's funny that the reason why the kid was running to the book base is that, ah, oh, you're a fucking mom, like, you look bad at your best. He felt like Tarzan. Whee. Would Tarzan be a monkey man or something play else? Play line. Time and place, my dude. Well, think about it, because Tarzan was a human that lived among apes. As he came Could he still bend, be a human? There was Lapini. Obviously not. Unconscious on the side of the path. And Renata could smell a familiar, sweet, smoky scent. Who? Zenobia. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. That meant... She had the Iblis Stone. What would it do to her? She hated her father now. She'd kill him for sure. The Council wouldn't mind if she killed the Emperor, but murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down from it. You gotta hurry, Sharp? check. Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? Oh, my. Oh! I, I, I did. I do remember the. Uh, I was looking at chat. My mistake. Remembering the fucking lines of the. 
Just pokes him with a sword and kills him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Lapino just like, what are we gonna do, huh? Are you gonna take this from me? It's just poking him and it stabs him. Oh. Yes, <laughs> he's dead. Long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on Kids, fire. Are you not showing off your boobah? So Oh yeah, that's oh, right. It's it's must have, it must have broke. It must have broke. Yeah, that's why. I forgot about that. Where's Booba? There's Booba. Booba has returned. Calm, calm, Cabbage, calm. Big Ghiblies. Everyone in the council chamber was dead. Zenobia stood shivering in the courtyard, drenched in blood. Oh no. Why? He managed. They they started arguing with me. I lost my temper and I, I wanted their blood. Not me. The stone did. Why did you take it from Lupino? I had a plan. You had a, a stupid plan, she said. I'm going to go kill my father now. No, no my father you now. can't. That's you'll, you'll just take his place. You'll become worse than him. Get out of my way, or I'll kill you too. We have to stop her. We? Stop her and the Ilbis Stone. Trying to stop her would likely be fatal, but the feelings she had for him had to mean something, right? He had to try. Otherwise, it's trying to stop her would likely be fatal, so it would be best to let her go and see how things play out. This We already know for the fact that stone will just corrupt her further. So, not intervening, interven without intervention, intervening. she will uh, turn. You won't kill me, he said. And I won't let you kill the Emperor. Enraged, she raised the sword. You hate him too? He could sense the Ibla stone, yearning for his death. And she didn't strike. If you kill him, he'll destroy you. I know you. Shut up! She shouted, her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. Not for anything. Get away from me! He said, and he was very close. I can't lose you again. And he was in reach of her sword now. I hate him! I hate you too! I love you. He said for the very first time. And then she was weeping. He was holding her. The sword had dropped from her hand. He glanced at the Ibla stone. It was no longer the black of the void. It looked like coal. No. It glowed like a cinder. It was crackling, burning, crumbling into ashes. You've always loved me, haven't you? She said. She was weak. The stone had taken so much from her. Always, he said. She staggered as he helped her up. Let me take you away. Where? The island of Avalon. The sisters will heal you. He will follow us. Then we need the Farfarer, the fastest ship in the Empire. The Empire had seized his ship. They'd have to take it back. Get to the far fair. Let me be a Dino. Let me be no for you. Swell. He'd always wanted to do that. Was in no shape to fight, but he never fought so well. He wasn't fighting for money or loot or a cause. He was fighting for her, for them. Yeah. He, he has a reason to fight. Reason to get into that combo and start one shot. Ah, 
They don't want me to get in that combo. They're smart. <laughs> they know better. They know what'll happen. They're like, ah, oh, you can hit him, he can put a shot. They're like, ah, oh, Lapinos must die. There was an inscription, Lapino. No spitting. Do the blue one before he does that. It is inconsequential what the blue one does. The blue one's dead. I posted the oh. uh, oh. oh. Lapino. No, 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 and there it Good. was. Now for shady. His beautiful skycraft, the Farfarer. Though it fare very far indeed. Beyond the Empire, beyond the reach of the Empire. To the mystical island of Avalon. He didn't know exactly where it was, but he knew he could find it. And they would find peace there. Second star on the right, and straight on till morning, laughed Zenobia. And they laughed together for the first time in a long time. Hmm. Maybe it makes Left Rock a little glowy. He is like, as in like, I like, I like an aura to the weapon. Yeah, it's left rock. Yeah, but we were like, he's going to. Okay. That's one. This is, this is the base color. Okay. Bean. Bean. Barely landed a claw on him. Bucketfish, we're doing it. The time of the hero is now. Combo between platforms. Oh. She probably here. Eh. Oh, that, that wasn't the far fair. What? It's really. Hmm? We're already on the far fair, you muppet. No, we are not. No, no, we're not. Here we are. Farfair is back there. Did not go unnoticed. Scout ships lifted off, and a long lance of the Imperial flagship. Renato turned downwind to gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue, but they couldn't close. The far speaker croaked, Return her and live! Go sacrifice yourself, yelled Renato. Then you won't have her either. On the flagship, the Emperor was readying some arcane weapon. It couldn't be. It was the core. A devastating beam lanced out of the flagship. Renato zigzagged wildly to keep the Farfair out of it. Now the Raven scout ships were closing the distance. And the beam was getting closer too. Then came a blinding flash. And the air was searingly hot all around him. There was a thunderous, deafening roar. He could smell burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh. But when he could hear and see again, they were alive and unhurt. And they were alone in the sky. Zenobia embraced him. They had done it. Through luck and through love, they had won the war. Avalon, here we come, he said as he held her arms wide in the prow of the boat and let her feel its speed. Maybe the real Avalon is wherever we're together, she said. And so... After a bit of an argument, Renardo and Zenobia went to one of the two Avalones, the one shrouded in mists. 
or the one in their hearts. But which one they went to, I'll never tell. He'd done it. He'd forged his own destiny. Well, he hadn't actually done done it. But he knew what he would do. Renato smiled at the book. He practically wanted to kiss it. The kid's sacrifice hadn't been in vain. He'd saved the book and saved the world. Renato owed him and his mother so much. Renato lowered the mainsail and let the farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. This time, he would win. I, I like this game. Yeah, it's pretty good. And the good guys won. Yeah. Gay little emperor got exploded. All right. OWM dice five dots say hashtag rope squadron Kibo do a barrel roll. Thank you, nation. Yeah, this is an indie title. Pretty good indie title for all, all things considered. Those Canuckians can sometimes make games, it seems. Goddamn Canuckians. Don't worry, we'll attribute their accomplish, accomplish, accomplishments to the Americans. In the United States of America. <laughs> that just takes it. Stop being mean to me. I didn't know. I have the stutter. Fuck you. Of course, the good guy has a fox in it. There's a fox in the game. A good game, therefore. They hired an external audio company. The music is very good in this game, yes. My god, they had a QA team? What? Here's like, what the fuck? They're like, how big the peaks of the furnace should be? Bigger. Make them big. That's the case. Have a good sleep, little Semper Fish. I expect to see you back early. Just like, <laughs> as he immediately snoozing. Tuck him in with a little lily, lily pad leaf blanket. Wow, a QA team. <laughs> wow, government money, funding. Not that indie, apparently. <laughs> Not that indie. <laughs> At, well, it's Canada needs to use their You know what kind of funding that we'll have on our credits? It'll be like little bucket symbol, chatfish funding. <laughs> so it's like a little arrow that goes up and down because it's really just temperamental. It's like... <laughs> uh, goddamn. It'd be cool if they made another game. The writing was very good. Uh, they have, um, I, I'm happy to like it. I mentioned this game to you some time ago, but we were too slow to the games at that time. They have another game on a uh, similar style, apparently, but I don't remember. I never played that one, so I'm not sure if it's as good as this one. This one has some very good, like, uh, parts. Like, uh, I don't know if I can, I can tell you why Lapino is a traitor. Ah, Grumpy got his PC as well. Well, Lapino is a traitor. Yeah. Well, go ahead and tell us. Uh, he was a traitor because he was jealous, but he was jealous of uh, Reynardo because uh, you always got the, the money and the bitches, basically. Like, because Re <laughs> Reynardo got all the women and the, and the praise, you know. <laughs> so, Damn. if so you fun. learn the rest of the, rest of the uh, truths, could you also save Lapino? from himself uh no because the he's too far are gone truths. like uh for example there's a uh, one ending where you get the iblis stone and like you find a ma you go for a magic mirror that's like hmm, there's this magic mirror that he can divide the things in two like you can take like all your your evil and put it away you know so basically if i purge the evil the iblis stone and myself of our our evil 
I will be a good guy, so like the I can use the Iblis Stone to defeat the Emperor. And when you do that, you create a super evil but weak version of yourself, and a super powered version that's uh, the, of yourself that's pure good, pure good. But because he's pure good, he can do he can't hurt anyone. So oh. like, oh you, no, you, yeah, you, he's pure yeah, good. Like, <laughs> yeah, and and the super evil one that wants to hurt everyone. It's so fucking feeble, he can't do anything. He's just like... So basically, like, you become a... Oh, you, you cripple yourself and do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a, another one where Lapino gets the Iblis Stone, and he goes, like, he, talk, he says it. Oh, you always got all the beaches. And we gotta like wrap that. up now. So, yeah. we'll be prepping for the next stream. We'll be doing some Dragon's Jurgma too, so come join us for that chat. Well, See you in a few minutes. I gotta grab a drink, and uh, we'll get started. Get ready, chatfish. Because we're about to continue our little adventure of Ryan Gosling. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, little champion. Bye now.